I'm Clint Hoffman, Vice President of Marketing for Kramer Electronics, and uh, we're here at the NAB Show, and this is our SDI table, SDI, HD SDI, 3G SDI. We're doing a whole different number of things with those kinds of signals here. Uh, let me walk you through it for a second. First, we're doing some conversion. If we start with our sources, we have a Blu-ray player coming in, component video, to a converter that converts it to HD SDI. We have another Blu-ray player coming into this device, HDMI, converting it to HD SDI. And over here we have another product that does the same thing but over a wider variety of signals. Whereas this one just does component and this one just does HDS, um, um, HDMI, this one will do multiple signal formats. This is also a proc amp so you can do different things with the signal. As you can see on this monitor we have the incoming signal and then the adjusted signal. In this case we've taken the, uh, the color way down to show you that we can see the split screen effect. So this is a proc amp and a converter. It does more than one thing. After we get our signals converted to HD-SDI, we're taking them in, oh, we also have another source here, it's just a, an SDI only uh, test pattern generator. We have these four sources coming into our switcher. Our switcher will tell you the type of source that's, uh, that it sees on each input. This is the test pattern generator in green, so it recognizes that it's only SDI. The rest of these are all HD-SDI and therefore you see the, the bluish color. So once we have the sources into the switcher, we can switch them out. Once we get them past the switcher, we're doing a couple of different things. First of all, this is an auto switcher. What the auto switcher does is it has two inputs coming from the switcher and when it loses a signal on one of them, it'll automatically switch to the other. So if there's some broadcast application where you always need to have a signal, this device will make sure that if you have two p uh, sources coming into it, if one is lost, the other one will automatically activate. On the other side of the table, we're actually taking some of the outputs, four of the HD-SDA outputs from the, uh, the switcher, into a device that converts all four over one fiber optic cable. You can then send that signal up to 5,000 feet over fiber optic cable. It goes through the cable, comes out the other side, and then all four streams are separated back out and available to you. So it's a great solution for very high, uh, long distance. Um, finally, when you get down to the second switcher here where all our signals end up before they get up to the monitor, we have a uh, device that converts the one signal that started as HDMI back to HDMI. So it travels through the entire system as a HD-SDI signal with the audio embedded from the original HDMI signal. And then we unembed the audio here and turn it back into an HDMI signal. So we have a whole bunch of HD, SDI, 3G, SDI, SDI, switching, conversion, products on the table, long distance solutions, pretty much anything you'd want to do with an HD, SDI, SDI, or 3G, SDI signal.